According to Warren Buffett, cryptocurrencies have no value. He believes you can't do anything with it except sell it to someone else. If that is true, why is Bitcoin making new highs every week? And why are companies like PayPal, Square, MicroStrategy, Tesla, and others want Bitcoin on their balance sheets? Let's talk about value of Bitcoin. Hey guys, welcome to Think Finance. My name is Raj, and on this channel, I talk about personal finance, investment ideas, and everything money. Last summer, I did a video on Bitcoin, how it works, and why it was time to get bullish. Watch that video if you're looking to get an understanding of Bitcoin, blockchain, and how it all works in harmony. Bitcoin was at $13,000 then, and now it is close to 60,000. In this video, I wanna share my opinion on why Bitcoin has any value, why I am bullish and why companies are pouring insane money. Finally, talk about a logical way to price the value of one Bitcoin. This is a topic that can bring all sorts of perspectives. Analysts, companies, celebrities, and YouTubers have their own point of views. I want to simplify this discussion and not just base it on the fact that you should invest in Bitcoin because PayPal and Square are in the game. So hear me out and let me know if it makes sense. Let's start with some history and things you and I know, Tesla and Amazon. It is in our DNA to not accept things until it gets widely accepted. What does that mean? See, humans hate change. They just do. So any innovation or disruption is hated by default to start with. Tesla is a good example. It took the company over 10 years to convince the world that electric is the future. It is only in the last three years large automakers have embraced the electric revolution. When the world finally accepted the story and is now demanding electric cars, Tesla is on its way to exponential growth. Amazon is a similar example. It took years for Amazon to sell the e-commerce version. With the exception of a few, most analysts thought Amazon will soon be out of business. It took years for consumers to embrace the idea of buying books, electronics, groceries, and other products online. Today, Amazon is the go-to place for most consumers. If we had invested in Amazon and Tesla when they were most hated, or let's just say misunderstood, we would have made a lot of money. Point being, innovation and disruption is hated when it is first introduced. It is impossible for the world to predict potential utility demand, and exponential growth. Here's another example to think about. Prior to the 1800s, oil was considered mud, dirt. The problem was that oil had no known utility. In the late 1800s, someone figured out that it can be used to create light. The demand, however, remained low. Finally, in the 1900s, engineers figured other applications of oil including combustion engines and demand for oil took off key takeaway until we understand the utility it is tough to value something so that was history now let's talk economics i promise i'll bring these pieces together and tie it back to the bitcoin value why does anything have value if you remember your economic class the answer is rather simple, and it lies in the basic principles of economics. Scarcity, utility, supply and demand. Why is gold considered a store of value? It is scarce, meaning it's hard to find and is available in very low concentrations. Something which is scarce and limited in supply typically increases in value over time as demand goes up. 
Why does fiat currency have any value? The value of any currency comes from the backing of the government and the trust that people have in the government. By the way, here's a fun fact. It costs the US government 16 cents to create a hundred dollar bill. Who knew, right? Stocks and real estate can be valued based on future cash flows and appreciation. Let's tie all of this to Bitcoin. Bitcoin supply is capped at 21 million. There will never be more supply. Unlike the US dollar, where government can print new money anytime, Bitcoin supply is limited. Which means if demand goes up, value of Bitcoin will rise. Because supply is fixed, any increase in demand has to be met with upward adjustment in price. This makes Bitcoin an attractive asset to store value. But then again, for something to have value, it should also have utility. The way Bitcoin is designed, it can exchange hands very quickly and in small amounts. The transaction cost and time is less since there are no middlemen or any other government or financial nonsense. And all of this happens within the security layer of blockchain. It is the safest way to manage transactions. Okay, so we know the supply, 21 million. We understand the potential scarcity argument and looks like there is utility. But all of this can only work if there is enough demand. For example, one phone is useless since you cannot call anyone else. But the value increases exponentially when everyone has a phone. I think 2021 was a major turning point for Bitcoin. We started to see institutional interest in Bitcoin. PayPal, MicroStrategy and Square made significant investments. As more and more companies adopt Bitcoin and find innovative ways to broaden its utility, adoption will only grow. People will trust the network, which means demand for Bitcoin will rise. Imagine a world where your Bitcoin wallet is part of Apple wallet on your phone. And now you can walk into Whole Foods and pay for your groceries. Or Starbucks starts accepting Bitcoin for your morning coffee. Use cases are endless. If fintech leaders like PayPal and Square are behind it, and entrepreneurs like Elon, Kathy and Chumat are embracing Bitcoin, you have to believe it will have some legs and value. Can Bitcoin go to 100K, 500K or 1 million? Maybe. Does it have the potential? Bitcoin investors believe so. There are some crazy predictions out there. Here's one way to think about it. Let's assume Bitcoin is a store of value, just like gold. And some portion of wealth will flow into Bitcoin as opposed to gold. If Bitcoin were to replace gold entirely, one Bitcoin could be worth 524K. But let's just say it replaces 30% of gold. In that case, one Bitcoin can be valued at 158K. Now, if you throw in the money supply out there in M2 and M3 buckets, only the money in savings, money market funds, and large deposits, value of Bitcoin could be even higher. Again, it is innovation, it's disruption, and is highly misunderstood. Investors buying Bitcoin today are betting that the future use cases will increase adoption and trust, drive demand to exponential levels and eventually increase Bitcoin's market cap. I'm targeting 4 to 5% of my net worth into Bitcoin. Put money you can afford to lose. Somewhere between 2 to 4% is a good number. Downside is limited, but if all goes right, upside can be huge. That's all I have guys. Hope this was helpful. Until next time, peace.